start off by creating the aliens. Now I just grabbed some fluorescent card and drew a bunch of egged looking shapes on the back. Egged? Egged? <laughs> so the colours I'm using today is green and yellow and I created some that have horns as well and switched the colours so that it was a green alien and yellow horns and yellow aliens with green horns. Then I'm just going to simply take a marker and draw the alien details to the eyes and outline them and all of that good stuff. And then I'm grabbing some wire and hot glue and just gluing the aliens to the ends. Then I'm taking this polystyrene board. I will put all the products and the names of the materials I use in the description box below. But you want to grab a piece of that and hot glue the wire onto that piece. You can also stick it through the polystyrene if that makes it easier. And that's literally it. Next you want to block your brows with a glue stick, set it with some setting powder and then I'm just going to hide them away with some concealer. I've left the tips of the brows just so it helps guide me in where my natural brows begin. Then you want to grab your whatever preferred brow stuff you use. I'm just taking a pencil and I'm creating the rough shape of an upside down brow. And then I'm going to create the tail as well. This doesn't actually have to be perfect at this point because later we are going to clean it up taking the P. Louise base and preferably a brush with a flat head. You want to go ahead and... I am actually devastated. I thought there was sound all along. Turns out the sound was disabled and I was talking to nobody. You want to use the flat head and you really want to clean up and refine and define the edges. Really get those edges nice and clean and straight. And also this is where you can really shape the brow to exactly how you want it to be. So I'm just using the flat end to really help and guide me and keep it nice and straight. And then of course, this is where you can really get into that gap as well. See that? Damn. Boom. Cut. I think this is really, really satisfying. And then I'm just dragging the concealer onto my eyelid. See, now look at that difference already. Alright guys, there's a fucking spider in this room somewhere. I was literally so calm and so concentrated and I'm scared for my life. Okay, please pray for me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow now. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna be taking the P. Louise base shade in 01. I'm just gonna coat this onto my eyelid to, of course, prime it. So for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna be taking the Helen E. Cosmetics Neon Pigments in yellow and green. Neons, baby. Yeah. For my broken heart, no remedy, but maybe if you stay. So I've just applied the eyeshadow and then I'm applying the base on top of that. And then I'm grabbing the NYX Epic Ink Liner and just creating some wings. Just to show me. Then I'm just applying some eyeshadow underneath my eyes as well and then I grabbed some white eyeliner and created a line underneath my eyes. I then outlined that and this is what created the illusion that I've got some enlarged eyes and I also created it in the shape of a cat eye. Damn, how many times can I say eye in a sentence? Next, taking some foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match. You just want to go ahead and apply this all over, just like you would in your makeup on a normal day. Then, I'm grabbing some concealer, I'm using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes. But you'll be there, ready. And then, just grabbing some contour, you want to go ahead and really chisel that face. <laughs> Grab some highlighter, I'm taking the next Born to Glow and then moving on to the neck and chest. So I'm just grabbing any sort of pencil and I'm creating the choker and then I'm grabbing some paints and I'm simply going to paint that in. 
Then I'm just also drawing the shapes of the drips and you just kind of want to repeat the same steps. Outline your drips and then once you're happy with that you can go ahead and paint the rest of your chest and shoulders and arms white or whatever colour background you're using. Now unfortunately for this I don't actually have a pure white background, it's kind of like a white to a grey so I had to try my absolute best to try and match that but the aim here is to try and get it to camouflage as smooth as possible. Then I very simply just grabbed some chains and parted them so that they were the correct sizes and then painted some tabs so it actually looked like they were attached to some material. And then I just grabbed some liquid latex and stuck them on and as you can see I'm actually using some pliers and that's literally because my my nails are too long. Grab some black paint and paint over the top of the end so it really looks like it's wrapped around. For the lips I grabbed some black eyeshadow and just faded this around the edges and then I grabbed some black lipstick, okay it was face paint but same thing, and filled in my lips. Then I just used my finger and my nail to smudge the lipstick down and then grabbed some white eyeliner and just finished them off. For the drips on my eye, I actually grabbed a white cream paint and then I dabbed the neon pigments on top. Then I just outlined it with an eyeliner and then just for some extra little details, I've just grabbed a really tiny hint of red eyeshadow and gently applied this onto my nose. Apply your lashes and contact lenses. I'm grabbing lashes for both the top and the bottom. <laughs> Style your hair into cute little space buns and then grab some liquid latex and stick the polystyrene to your back. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this then let me know by giving it a thumbs up and feel free to support me on my Instagram, Facebook and TikTok at Goth Spectrum. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I've got a lot more content coming your way and finally I will see you next time. Tell no